everybody out there. Welcome here to the first episode of Classic Film Commentaries with the Future. I'm Jeff the Future Jarris. I'm joined here by C-Dub of Chronocord Media. What's up? What's going on, man? It's a pleasure to be here, and it's going to be fun to commentate on this movie here, Frogs from 1972. Yes. I know, I know this is one that's in your DVD collection. I have the DVD. I recently picked it up for like 75 cents because I was so interested to see what was going on with this. I had never heard of it. And I have Very never cool. watched this movie either. I did watch a little bit of the credit opening there. Yes, and, uh, most definitely. This is going to be a lot of fun to watch this one. I don't really know what to expect. <laughs> I don't either, but we did get some good info off IMBD, which we will talk about while the movie is playing here. But if you want to watch along with us at Classic Film Commentaries here, go ahead and hit play when we count down from three. Um, we are actually watching a version off of YouTube because I had a problem with getting the DVD to pull up. So um, we are going to start at zero on this Holly Bolly mix. Uh, I'll put the link underneath the uh, video here so you can watch along and hit the link that we're watching. But the uh, title is Frogs 1972, full length English movie. Let's go ahead and do it, C Dub. First one here. Count down from three here. Three, two, one, and hit play. go got an interesting little intro there. yeah i don't uh, i don't know what's up with that what in the hell is this yeah it's government a, of it, it is this what i don't know what this is but all right i guess we're here with the movie okay i it seemed to me like well, i've seen that before and it seemed to me like they must have bought the rights to this movie or something but look at this we have a young sam elliott who would wow. go in to go on to be quite the acclaimed actor yeah he's one of the greats there in the western genre kind of post john wayne and clint eastwood and right kind of right after their heyday or just coming toward the end of it he kind of took in those great roles in westerns there it is guys frogs frogs here we go i love the uh, opening here by the way how cheap could they do this let's just uh, have him shoot pictures and We'll put a title up on a still picture, and that'll be our opening scene. Watch this. I noticed this. Boom. <laughs> we could have done this. this. These sound effects are kind of crazy, too. Um, I gotta say, as a musician, I do like that. Ooh, with watch out. Adam Rourke. Uh, is that Adam Rourke? That is the snake Adam Rourke? <laughs> as Clint. We got Judy I'm Pace in here. See, there's a lot of actors. I, I, I was looking through here earlier, and I seen nobody that I really knew. And uh, one thing, uh, future right off the bat, man, I noticed on the IMDb page is that this was filmed in uh, one of my, I call it my second home state of Florida. This was filmed up on the Panhandle um, in Point, I believe it was Point, Washington, Florida, is where it was filmed. So yeah. uh, we see these classic marshlands and wetlands of Florida, which you are um, probably familiar with. Most definitely. I'm oh, look at the guess pollution, that though. This is. Look at the pollution. Yeah, look at those. Look at those throwback pop. Wow, they there. used okay. a uh, they used a church key to open those. It looks like. Oh, uh, is that a? Oh no, it's a baby. Oh wait, no, it's a baby doll. It's just okay. a baby doll. We don't we don't have any babies. Getting... I heard that. Uh, I mean, we're gonna have the um, box art or whatever you would call the cover art from the DVD uh, or whatever. It's doo doo. Yeah, <laughs> we're gonna have that up on the. Uh, video was the uh, movie plays and one thing I read on IMBD is a very very misleading cover art because there are no giant man-eating frogs in this movie are there any men who eat frogs in this movie um we'll have to see ah. I have eight frog in my life and I must say that it is not too bad yes uh, frog I legs. will say frog legs aren't too terrible now, how we would taste to a frog or how they would eat us would be a different story. So, what I have heard is this a misleading title, so we'll have to see what happens there. Uh, now, <laughs> disclaimer, don't ever try this at home, but I have heard reports from back in the 90s of people licking frogs and toads and uh, <laughs> apparently getting a killer buzz from it. So, all you kids out there, don't do that. <laughs> don't do drugs, kids. 
Don't do that. Especially, especially lick, uh, yeah, lick, uh, what was, what frog was that that they used to lick? I had a name of Some leopard sort of frog toad. or something. I don't know. What is all this crap that's in this swamp? Who Obviously, this somebody has um, been very messy. Coming out to do wildlife pictures, but now he's taking pictures of trash, like... I'm very intrigued here. I, I like how they show these refuse pipes here with the director's name. He must have been a real piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, oh, hey, nice, nice reflection. Oh, oh, quick cut. All right, we got a go fast boat here. This thing is hauling ass. They probably got drugs on them at this point. I would venture to guess. Yes. Is this like this? Kind of reminds me of Thunder in Paradise. Yes, is Hulk Hogan going to appear here soon? We don't know. Swig a beer for the boat man. I like it. I mean, I know who these actors are other than, well, I guess Sam. Look at this. Budweiser gets a, uh, and what an ironic uh, shot there due to, uh, you know, later on Budweiser would have the frogs as an advertisement. So that's interesting. Watch out for that no-wake zone there, cowboy. Don't want to knock old Sam out of the boat. He's liable to have a six-shooter on him. Who's this chick? I guess this is uh, the one we heard about in the credits there. What was her name? Judy something Judy right? Pace. I don't know. You know her, that's but... what I'm saying. Like, mo I don't think this movie must have been, like, not the greatest because nobody really went on to do anything but uh, Sam Elliott. But we'll see the performances here, and we'll make our judgment. Oh yet. shit! Oh shit! This isn't good. No, no wake zone, dude. Come on. Hey. And he's hey. drinking on the boat. Uh, automatic ticket. Come on. I'm drinking a damn beer. <laughs> Getting oh, that. Oh. Canoe, I could have swore somebody was gonna die there, but no. No, no, that was a great job by the stunt boat driver. If yeah. That was a stunt boat. It was probably just that guy, and he was probably actually drunk. What yep, I find great, what, what I find pass. great about watching these older films like 1972 is they didn't have CGI. Man, did it look a lot real, more realistic when they did it like that. Oh yeah. All right. Well, they're pulling up here to old Sam, who's tipped over in his canoe. Thankfully, they didn't run him over. Okay, yeah, Sam. Swim Swim toward the outboard motor. Good yeah, idea. No joke. Let's hope he didn't get caught up in the motor there, Sam. Oh, my glad you're not hurt. Oh, oh, there you go. He fell for it. Now I'm going to get on your boat and steal your girl, son. It's just one of them things. One of those things, Mac. Damn, Sam is a natural badass. It is one of them things, Mac. So I guess they know each other? Or what? Uh, I don't know, you know. He's just Shit tooling up. around in a canoe, and then all of a sudden they pull up and try to wipe him out, and then they they must have known who he is. I don't know. You know, he should have thrown that guy in the back in the canoe and made him ride back there. And yeah, I wouldn't have let him back into the boat. He's like, get back in here and drive. He could have challenged him to a duel right then and there and just kind of taken it, you know? Speaking of duel, what a great movie that is. Yes. We'll definitely have to do that one one of these days. I don't know if you have it. I have I don't it. think I do. That's one All right, definitely. Hi, that's one definitely to add to the collection. Pickett Smith, forgive me if I don't shake hands. Oh boy. Hello. What's up with the shit swamp? Whoa! All right, so we got a nice house at the shit swamp. Looks like a um, old plantation house. Look at the tongue on that dog. My word. <laughs> That's a nice What in the hell is going on here? <laughs> I don't know. It looks like is this where got... Tattoo lives? Is we've... this Fantasy Island? We've got some kind of millionaire here, but oh, oh, it's a frog. First appearance. Frogs everywhere. And they definitely cannot do what they do on the front cover there. I mean... I didn't see those frogs with any human body parts in their mouths, so... Uh, nor would it be possible, so... All right, let's see here. How are you at badminton? How are you at badminton? <laughs> How about tennis? How about tennis? Okay. Ping pong. This chick uh, must have been learning from Forrest Gump. I know Forrest was playing a lot of ping pong in the 70s. <laughs> How would you like to partake in a nice, friendly way? Oh, hell yeah, let's get another beer. 
This is a dud so far. <laughs> this is some pretty brutal dialogue. <laughs> I, I, I might just start to make up my own story at some point here if this doesn't work out for me, Jeff. I gotta be honest. Sam Elliott, um, you know. I'm thinking these two guys are gonna have a boat race, and the winner's gonna bang that chick. <laughs> That'd probably there be a more be that'd be a more interesting storyline than what we have going on right now, so What are okay, this is like a garden of some sort here? We have constant frog noises. I like how they use the same loop over and over for the entire film. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Boy, these are a lot of frogs. So is this reminiscent of the birds, in my opinion, of Alfred Hitchcock classic? Oh, man. I didn't think it was until I just saw that shot that just came up of the sun coming through the uh, moss-covered trees there. And that's one of the things on the DVD it says, reminiscent of Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds variety. Yeah, I gotta say, that tree right there is... That's definitely Florida right there where they're filming. Um, I spent a lot of time in the center of Florida, uh, around Polk County, Lakeland. And there's so many huge old trees out there just like that one. It's got a very spooky kind of look to it, I always thought, with all the moss hanging off of it. Sam Elliott looking real young. Yeah. It's a pretty sweet jacket that guy has there. I don't know if it's members only. The clothes in this movie really date it. Plus the, uh, I'm thinking these might be clothes right out of their own wardrobe. I think so, too. Who the hell? Uh -oh. Who the hell directed this movie? I'm looking right now. Well, they got some great nature shots of these frogs, but George what are these McCowan. Frogs doing? George McCowan. Never congratulations, heard. George. <laughs> Never heard. Or congratulations to the uh, folks in India, apparently, who now own this film. We might as well just note now that uh, in Andy Warhol's interview, writer slashed satirist Fron Lebowitz called Frog to the best bad movie I have ever seen in my life. So. That's some pretty high praise there, but I'm going to have to wait to reserve my judgment for if this is the best worst movie ever. Does it beat Troll 2? And my question is, does it beat the great body of work that the trauma film company has developed my personal favorite and jeff it's one we're gonna have to cover sometime yeti a love story i want to see that you mentioned that it's it's the most ridiculous movie i've ever seen in my life now the trauma and, uh the only one i've really seen is the toxic avenger movies toxic crusader or whatever the hell oh those are great that'd be great All right, to do. dude these damn creatures are everywhere we got a cantankerous old man here who looks like he's got a lot of money. And who's the Ric Flair wannabe standing by him is what I'm wondering. Yeah, I have no idea. This girl looks like Goldie Hawn, in my opinion. A little bit. A little bit. It's, it's not her, though. but So far, she's, other than Sam Elliott's somewhat wooden acting, the only good <laughs> she's thing the only about thing this. About it. I love on the front, today the pawn, tomorrow the world, yes. Well, what can I say? She's got a great set of legs. She's looking good, looking good. Nice outfit. Like, What kind of outfit is that, though? I don't know. It's, uh, it looks like a 1920s bathing suit of some sort. <laughs> now, you know, this, this house... girl's wearing a wedding dress. Like, what the... This house has the same layout of the stairs as the Texas Chainsaw Massacre house. It does. I hope, this is, I hope this is not the Texas Chainsaw Massacre house. Were they filmed in Florida? I don't think so. I think they were actually filmed in Texas. It does look exactly like it. Yeah. No, no I don't see any furniture made out of bones or human uh, body parts, so I think we're good. Yeah. And Iris does look like she's half dead, though. <laughs> Well, this is an exciting family, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, what are they doing? Is he getting a manicure? <laughs> or a palm reading? Why is that lady half-seated? This is a really, really strange movie, dude. What have you got me into? <laughs> I didn't know what we were getting into, but uh, so far it sucks. Wait, didn't she say that was her cousin, too? Yeah, that that's, her, that's her cousin. Ah, 
I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna question it. Sweet robe. I think I saw Ric Flair wear that once. Yeah, and they had that Ric Flair wanna be outside. He must have had a lot of influence on frogs. Yeah. What is going on here? What does she have? A frog? <laughs> Some great southern dialect there. As I, I look at this uh, page, though, on YouTube, and boy, this has had quite a lot of views and uh, likes. This is certainly a cult classic. Obviously. <laughs> but thus far, it's a little bit underwhelming. It better pick up, because we're 14 minutes in, and I have not seen anything that really I would ever watch this movie for again. Yeah, I'm not going to lie to you folks out there. I have a six-pack of beer at the ready um, just for this occasion because I had a feeling this might not be great. And uh, if there's one thing I know, again, you, you can go ahead and put up that don't try this at home disclaimer. Yeah. But if there's one thing that will make a bad movie good, it's a couple of adult beverages. Definitely. I don't think I've ever heard of Midwest Valley Central. All right, so far, uh, what are, what's up with these trophies? Oh, she was a cheerleader, huh? I'm trying to figure out if that's Sam Elliott or Sam Beckett off of Quantum Leap. Here we go, of course, with a quick ad there in the video. Oh, I'm you sorry guys about will run that. into those. You can skip it after five seconds, and we are pretty much right back here. Trophies, nice. Nice trophies, pal. One extra pound. Those are like the ads of, of Doom. Like, once you hit one of them ads, you know you're closer to the end of the movie. Yeah, no, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be like a checkpoint. I think it's like, <laughs> in fact, we might get an achievement for watching this. We may be the first Frog's commentary of all time, because there definitely isn't one on the DVD. Well, uh, I would imagine that Sam probably doesn't have much to say about it. Love to ask him about it. We'll I'd like nice to see where this. The... I'd love to see where this falls in his acting um, resume. Resume, yeah. Would, like where, say, like I would say near the bottom. But I'm saying like where. Wonder in his film filmography, like how close this was to like the start of his career. He probably was around. I don't know. Oh, that's not racist. Wow. I this movie so far is killing me. Yeah, it, it's a dud. I did really enjoy this shot of the sea rats, aka seagulls. Um, those things are very annoying for any native Floridian or anybody who's been to the beach. They will come and uh, pester you all day long, probably more than frogs would. Maybe they should make a movie about killer pelicans or killer seagulls, maybe. Why frogs? I don't know, but there's some serious frog uh, frog action going on out here. We gotta see some frog. I want to see some action here. Yeah, um, I'm gonna have to do a quick uh, search here to look up the actual name for a fear of frogs, uh, which is known as apparently. Randiaphobia, Randiaphobia, which comes from Randia, the most widespread family of frogs. So if you have that, I would suggest not to uh, follow along here. Probably not. Um, <laughs> there has been some superstition somewhat to the sight of a frog in certain cultures as that it's a bad omen. Or that if, of course, the classic tale that if you lick or touch a frog or anything like that, you would get warts. Yes, I always remember people saying that when I was a kid. And, of course, we always have the classic, uh, what was it, Prince Charming? She kisses the frog or whatever? What the hell Tur was that? Yeah, she turned the, uh, she, the frog and he turned into a prince. Yeah, yeah. And, of course, uh, in some cultures, frogs are actually considered a good omen. Hmm. I'm just wondering if the frogs will ever do anything in this movie. And uh, courtesy of the Wikipedia page for fear of frogs, quick fact. Phobia against frogs often happens after seeing frogs die in a violent manner. One case of severe fear of frogs has been described 
in Journal of Behavior Therapy and Experimental Psychiatry in 1983. A woman had developed an extreme fear of frogs after a traumatic incident in which her lawnmower, which I'm assuming that she was driving, ran over a group of frogs and killed them. Wow. That's a great way to acquire a fear of frogs. Uh, I would probably acquire a fear of that bitch driving a lawnmower, though. Yeah. How can you... Do, uh, would you how would you uh, gain a fear from that? It's just... I have no idea. This is insanity. This kind of reminds me of the scene in Scarface, though, where some uh, the guy ends up hanging from a helicopter. <laughs> Uh, there might be a drug deal. Oh, uh, yeah, look, they got Coke on the table there. You see that? It's a drug deal. Are we watching The Godfather? Uh, I was going to say that earlier. The, it, we're watching The Frog Father. I was going to say earlier that it looked a lot like The Godfather. Okay, we do have confirmation that this is not the Texas Chainsaw Massacre house. <laughs> I don't think Leatherface is here. Uh, there's no worries there. Hey, wait, it's Grandpa. Everybody remembers. No, that's just that old rich guy. He does kind of look like Grandpa <laughs> from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre series. He does. Hopefully, he is not gonna suck the blood from Sam El Sam Elliott. Well, he's Beat blowing him. smoke out, but he ain't coughing dust up. So, uh, it's a nice bear mount, or is that what is that? A cougar mount? A panther mount? And that's a lion head. Lion or some kind of cat? There, that's pretty crazy. Looks like a lion to me. Wonder how much of I wonder how much of the film's budget went to that. Yeah, like we got to get that lion head back in the background. <laughs> we gotta make it look like we're really out in the sticks here, guys. Sam, you really will you, got. Will you actually act like you're you're into this movie? Yeah, look, Sam. I just so happened to come into a truckload of frogs here, all different kinds. They got rejected at the border. I owe these guys some money. Can we try to make a movie out of these frogs, please? I'm, I'm thinking that's probably how the conversation went. And then Sam, El Sam Elliott classically said, You got it, buddy. <laughs> these are the days he was dreaming for a movie like Quick and the Dead. I think these are the days that he was dreaming for anything. <laughs> oh, no. It's frogs. Coming for I mean, I know this is early in Sam Elliott's acting career, but if you go back and look at it, retrospectively like we are how are you supposed to believe that M. Elliot is no minister of poison there Sam's concerned a lizard dead some great sound effects by the way caterpillar Ooh. something happens here there's a dead bird what is going on we got a bunch of animals croaked but a sand dick all right, Sam. What Sam hell is going on? <laughs> He's walking tall. Walking through these, uh, looks like an old plantation or something in Florida. I don't know. This could just be the same stretch of jungle that they just put a bunch of dead animals in. <laughs> just walked around in a big circle. Uh-oh. It's an abandoned golf cart. <laughs> what the hell are we in now? Like, this movie just keeps changing on me. I don't know what's going on here now. I might have to make a quick walk over here to my mini fridge if this doesn't get better pretty soon. Yes, I mean, come on. We're trying not to torture people here. But we will sit here and uh, take the torture for you. I'm not giving it I'm not giving up now, damn it. That's definitely a dead body. Is that the same dead body from Stand by Me? <laughs> Are we going to see River no. Phoenix emerge here soon? or? Uh, I'm thinking this guy's going to come back to life. What in the flying fuck is going on here? Oh. Whoa. Ooh, great Something got a hold of him. With the reveal. Look at that. Look at that acting. Wait, is that the same person? They look completely different. <laughs> oh jeez! Look at that face. <laughs> Look, like is that the oh. reaction you have when you find a dead body? Like, oh damn it! I found a body. 
black chick not Here looking we go. Too, More not looking too bad. Housekeepers. Don't tell anybody I'm going to get drunk. We have Aunt Jemima making her first appearance. Hey, don't worry, baby. I won't tell anybody either because i got to get drunk to watch this shit. <laughs> oh, hello, Maybell. I'm sure they were just thrilled to be in this movie. Got to be. God, you know, the shooting of this film was probably more brutal than watching it. Just, man, if you can imagine. Oh, man. All right, we're back outside, it looks like. and Oh, it wasn't a golf cart. It was just an old shitty Jeep. Uh-oh. Is that like frog vision All right, here we go. It looks like nighttime now. This is when the frogs are going to strike. Uh-oh. Ooh, look at that dress. Sexy. That's what I was saying. It's an awfully low neckline for 1972. Exactly. How daring of you, my dear. Oh boy, this is a good old fashioned. Yep, they're all just getting boozed up, waiting for uh, everybody to come back. And that constant damn frog sound. <laughs> that frog sign, man. Sound. Trying to uh, blow your screen up there for me, C Dub. Trying to hear a little bit of this dialogue here and just make. I'm some trying kind to of sense line up my videos a little off since because mine does not have any ads. Surprisingly, that I'm watching. Uh, perhaps I am so unlucky to just happen to have them on here. Trying to find. Uh, So he's trying the phone again here as Grandpa Monster or whatever the hell he is. It's wheeled. Yep, the phone is still dead. So has he told anybody that he found a dead body or what? <laughs> he hasn't done a damn thing since he's found that body. Oh, boy. Like, what kind of reaction was that to finding a dead body? Like uh, uh, That was a classic, I mean... I, I'm going to have to go back and screenshot that look and make sure... I mean, we have to include that in the video somehow. Yeah. In a few moments. What is she doing? Making... What is this? What's going... Uh-oh. Oh, no. It's a snake chandelier. Some fantastic sound effects we're getting here. And we're back to Grandpa and Sam Elliott. Oh, there's a body. Okay. Sure, it'll be a great day for everyone. I'm thinking this old timer might know that there was a body in there. He's looking a little suspicious. <laughs> Looks like the kind of guy who would have, uh, the the kind of fellow who would have multiple bodies on his uh, property, just kind of laying around. Yeah, he's gonna celebrate till he's a hundred, right there. Oh, classic Sam Elliott. What about the body? Oh, that sounds like a terrible idea, sir. 
What about the body? <laughs> oh, I'll just play the body cool. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Wait a minute. What's this? It's frogs. Multiple frogs trying to get in. All right, Sam Elliott's flipping out now. That's pretty funny. It's a great shot of the frog trying to break in. Uh-oh. Shit is officially popping <laughs> off. And we have the snake chandelier. Stand aside. <laughs> Come on, Sam. Pull out your revolver. Oh, nope. Fuck it. That guy's got one. And he is a crack shot, I'm sure. Right, boom. There it is. Good shooting, cowboy. Nope. <laughs> like... All right, let's cook this thing up for dessert. <laughs> well, what's standing around? Uh, That's a wise idea uh, to grab a hold of that snake with a dinner napkin, a fine dinner napkin. But now he's going to leave himself susceptible to these frogs that are outside if he has to take that snake out. That's no good. Got another one of these damn YouTube ads. It's gonna come up here and kind of screw up our timing. So I will give you guys a little visual clue here. We're back to the dining room, and uh, looks like we're not gonna have snake for dinner apparently. Um, okay. So we are at 30 minutes. And tell me when you hit 31, would you? All right, sure thing. I'm trying to line back Five, up. Five, four, three, two, one, now. 31 minutes just passed, okay. folks. We got Grandpa and the... Now I'm back on with you, so now here you go. With the, the sound, uh, anyway. Dapper Sam Elliott with his great facial reactions. Sam, man, what are you doing here? Like all I ever do around here is babysit. That's all he does is baby. She just babysits all, all the time. Do. That's all she does. Family. Huh? Boy, they don't like me. They don't. Of course, they don't like you. You're Yet there's not a kid around. No. Nope. But what is this though? We're a half hour in, yet to see anybody die. Well, we've seen a dead body. No frogs really done anything. I thought the dead body was that guy, but I guess not shows how much I've been really paying attention to these actors and how memorable they are other than Sam and Blondie here. Uh-oh. But frogs have yet to do anything in this film, so... Oh, uh, boy. Except just be there. Now listen to me. The frogs are driving this chick to, uh... Oh, hey now. Easy. Easy. You gotta treat her right there, <laughs> pal. No, no, certainly not. A million dollars. Okay, so just... we got an inheritance at stake. I think here. he's going to try to speed the process up. I think those frogs might want the money too, perhaps. There we go. I mean, there's so. I think if all these frogs were to uh, band together, you know, a couple ten thousand of them, maybe they could uh, split the inheritance between themselves. Like Jenny. Frogs are driving me crazy too. Alright. So these frogs are not a threat yet in any way. No. As I said, I'm wondering I, I'm wondering if they named this movie Frogs just because of the sole purpose that watching this could possibly give you warts of some kind. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm still, I'm still wondering why it's called frogs. <laughs> uh, I'm just wondering why they didn't call it. We're nearly Sam halfway Elliot doing. I doing mean, terrible wooden dialogue. We're nearly halfway through the movie, and I've yet to see anything about a frog. Thank God. Hell, it's been traveling a lot. See a lot of country. I'm a little bit country. <laughs> I'm a little bit rock and roll. Hold on my back. I'm guessing this is the same day or Sam Elliott does not change clothes one or the other. 
Uh, I don't think these people apparently had washing machines or clothes of any sort. I don't know what the deal is here. You notice that, though? Yeah. We're at nighttime now. I guess this is the same day. I don't know. I mean, the chick has on her, uh, looks like she's changed. Here, whatever her name is. Uh, I don't even remember. She said it earlier in the movie. It was like Barbara or something. I don't know. Sam, oh, boy. Sam with a wardrobe of the same shirt. Oh, come on, Sam. Why you gotta be so modest? Sam, get in there. At, you know you wanna go. Look at those eyes. Look at those eyes. Sam, she is ready for it. You just turn. <laughs> You're gonna hang out there with the damn frogs and your blue balls. They don't even mention, like, man, there's a lot of frogs around here, you know? Why are these daytime? Okay, so it's back to daytime. I was going to say, why are we seeing daytime frog shots all of a sudden? Let's all hope right. Sam's changed by now. I don't know. Looks like they made it through the night without So the far, this is not the best worst movie I've ever seen, that's for sure. No, no. And here's a... I, was that Professor X? No, that's the old man. <laughs> scene oh, out of the, We're in a scene there out of the X-Men. It just so happens, he just said happy 4th of July. As we're recording this, guys, we're coming up on the week of 4th of July here in the United States. How appropriate. Celebration of Independence Day. I will be sure to thank my my fellow frogs out in the world for their <laughs> contributions to society and film history. I wonder if Kermit uh, makes an appearance in this. Why do all the people who work in this guy's house have to be black? And why does this house <laughs> have to look so much like a plantation? <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> because what I think is... old George McCowan That's may have been a bit she's racist. Got a, <laughs> she's got a sexy Farrah Fawcett look going on there, I guess. I guess that's what that is. I don't know. That uh, that haircut is. Uh, she looks like a hot old stewardess or something there with that scarf. <laughs> I gotta say, even though you know it is uh, kind of laughable looking back on it, I always kind of found the old school fashion on women to be kind of sexy. Myself. Yeah. All oh, those meddling kids setting off firecrackers. That's gonna piss off the frogs. Damn kids. Fourth of July, we're gonna have some frog works, uh, fireworks, fireworks. <laughs> All right, you know what, guys? You're gonna have to forgive me for just a moment. I'm gonna walk right on over to my mini fridge. It's gotta be done. And I'm gonna go ahead. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab three beers. This is a completely <laughs> preventative measure. Uh, I don't suggest anybody doing this along at home. Do not try this at home for like the fifteenth time. But hey. If you got some cold beer in your fridge and you want to watch some frogs, give me a hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> you get those beers, man. You're going to need them for the end of, to get through the rest of this. So. It's still bad, even whenever I'm all the way over here at my fridge. <laughs> this is definitely what I consider a dud. And a number three beer. I don't get how it's just a bunch of talking and then they just flash a bunch of pictures of lizards and toads and then you're back to the regular movie. It's like, this is not scary. All right, we've got the 4th of July Independence Day bunting out there on the railing. Looking right. good. I'm still waiting for soft, warm flesh against gold, green, green skin. Cold, green skin. You can keep waiting for soft, warm flesh, but I, myself, son, ain't going to wait for a nice cold beer. Go ahead. Here's a little salute. <laughs> hey, anything goes here on classic film commentaries. If you got it, drink it. Cool and refreshing. Because anybody who's suffering the pain of watching this with us right now, it's understandable. Oh, okay, these guys are doing a pillow fight on the log. It's uh, pre-American pre, uh, Gladiators jousting. Yeah, it looks like these guys are going to have a little series of games. Look at the balls on this dude smoking while he does it. Then there's that guy that reminds me of freaking out of the Godfather. It looks like they're putting up the, oh my Whoa. god, what is that? It's uh, the girl that used to do the uh, readings. 
off of well, TV. Oh, I thought. Uh, oh yeah, Miss Cleo. Yeah. <laughs> <That's what> it <laughs> it's Mrs. Cleo. Uh, this is only like the fifth racist thing I've seen in this movie so far. It's just like what? What's the point of her coming out? Dressed like no this to, to draw attention that you have a black person in the movie, or? Oh, here we go. The frogs are gonna fuck up this uh, badminton game and. I'm, I'm, caber I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the. We're 40 minutes in. I'm waiting for the frogs to do something. So. I'm hoping these guys have a, a three-legged race or a potato sack race or something. That would be pretty, uh, pretty good. Hey, you know, Jeff, we could get a montage here. Motherfucking montage. Anything would be better than the dialogue right now. I like how he has this old portable record player sitting out there playing his patriotic record. Yeah. <laughs> definitely, <laughs> definitely pre-internet days. <laughs> Some fantastic decorations. It really is a beautiful house. I do have to say. Sam, uh, did he change? I don't know. Very similar to what he oh, had. You're, uh, Sam says he don't want to spoil our day, but he's already doing a pretty damn good job. <laughs> he spoiled my whole night. <laughs> oh, that, I wouldn't quite say spoiled though. This has, even though this is uh, you know, pretty brutal for for anybody who's still hanging in here with us in this commentary. I do, uh, to be honest, I don't blame you if you couldn't take it. Forty minutes in. Usually by about 30 or 40 minutes in any movie, if it's not jiving with me, that's I'm the done. point where I'm like, all right, fuck it, I'm done, no I, more. I'm, I'm doing it for the sake of uh, the video, but... Uh, yes, absolutely. Folks, we are sacrificing our... Hour and 28 minutes, cells. yes. And, and, and at least as many brain cells as it takes to watch this thus far piece of shit film <laughs> featuring a fantastic actor in Sam Elliott it's and definitely they, not uh, getting any better let's just say that I gotta say man if, if this really shows you what happens if you just have one good actor in a film and no good support cast we do have hey, a baby. alligator sighting another snake uh -oh. they don't do anything though so don't no, worry no. The frog um, moving rather slowly how could that be even dangerous I don't know now the army jeep it's a nice old jeep there. That's a uh, you could go on safari quite easily in that thing. Hey, we got power poles. Okay. All right, so there is electricity out here somewhere, or maybe that was a phone line. One of the two. Got Sam Elliott just randomly wandering through. Hey, rattlesnake. All right. Good shot there, the rattler. You gotta like that. It's a big bastard too, but you can tell that. Uh, they probably had a snake handler on set for this this film. The snake guy, much ooh, great shot there. Watch out. Much like uh, now that'd WWF. be something to be that'd be something to be scared of there, you know, not uh, the frog. Yeah, definitely. But uh, much like WWF wrestler from uh, the 1980s and 90s, Jake the Snake Roberts always had a snake guy. That came from town to town and kind of took care of the snakes, gave them new ones. Did he really? I yeah, absolutely. I'm I, I'm hoping that this uh, that no animals were harmed in the filming of this movie. Judging by the cheesy special effects we've seen thus far, I don't think any animals were harmed. Hey, that's that same snake that they shot earlier, isn't it? Yes, that is. I think. Meh. 45 minutes almost into this and it's been just a boar fest so Here we go I applaud anyone who's uh, lasted this long with us yeah we got some great shots of looks like some savannah monitors maybe I'm so proud to have this in my collection you know uh, I gotta say I was always really intrigued by nature in Florida you see a lot of really unique stuff that myself growing up in East Tennessee for most of my life, I never really saw it until I went to Florida. Um, you don't see really a whole lot of lizards here in Tennessee. And, uh, of course, in Florida, the green and brown anole lizards now we... are so common, as well as frogs, gators, snakes. I mean, basically everything you see in this movie. You will never be the same again when you go to Florida. 
Yeah, man. And uh, wow. I seen my this first bird one. sighting. I don't know what's going on here. Oh shit! There are also oh. birds in this movie. All right, what's going on? Why is there screaming? Oh, you dumb shit. <laughs> number one, the number one rule of firearm safety. He's done for, dude. Here comes the tarantula. Cue up mystical tarantula. Tarantula! It's a tarantula. Wait, aren't tarantulas non-poisonous? They are not poisonous. What's this guy freaking out about, other than being a dumbass and shoot? Well, I guess I just to answer my own question. He's a dumbass. Well, he shot himself, so. Yeah, I mean, you're stupid enough to sh accidentally shoot yourself in the leg, running like. Now an what's going fist. on here? Look at this. All right, guys, we need more moss. More moss. Is That's he being right. succumbed by the moss, or what's going on here? I guess they are wrapping him up. Oh boy, thank God I got a YouTube ad. It's one of the very few times in my life I'll be thankful for one. I'll have to sync back up here with the film. Guys, if this seems loose and perhaps kind of done quickly, it's because it is. I mean, this movie here clearly didn't have a whole lot of technical expertise going into it, so why the fuck should we <laughs> really put all that much into I mean, you guys are following along here. This guy's getting wrapped up by these fucking tarantulas and making some really silly noises and making some sex faces. My mind's been blown this whole time, so. All right, so what are they going to do now? And, uh, you know, another thing is we came into this one blindly, not really knowing what's going on, so. No, this is very, very strange, man. So. Just really strange. Wouldn't Sam have heard this gunshot? Yeah. Sam is very dry in this movie. Yeah. But he does. All right, looks like. He's going to find uh, the guy. Yeah, it looks like he's done for. <sighs> he's been wrapped up with spider webs and moss and whatnot. No frogs. <laughs> I like the spider web shot that they just did there. That was great. Look at the haircuts in this movie, by the way, just to give those a, a quick uh, <laughs> shout out. This guy is those rocking. Those pants are awesome, too. The pants and the Jack Briscoe haircut circa <laughs> 1973. <laughs> It's a classic look. I gotta say, with that belt there, that, that belt, belt, man. This guy looks like a real jackass. Somebody that I would uh, <laughs> probably bully uh, in school for wearing such jackass-looking pants. Hey, Dad, cut it out. He wants to see him on his ass. I want to see him on his ass. <laughs> Was that quick? Um... For the target, it's for rifle practice. Sounds kinky. Make sure you have proper number of bean bags. I have gotten a few good laughs out of it. But you won't. No. I won't. No. Alright, more frogs. We need more frog shots, guys. Look at that big fat guy. Frogs do nothing in this movie. Puffy McToderton here. All right, yeah, I'm going to go out and hunt Ca frogs. Catch some butterflies or something. <laughs> is this like the SpongeBob SquarePants uh, jellyfish hunting deal? How is this the worst, best movie ever made, like that dude's saying? I don't know. And, I mean, other than some really good nature shots here, I'm really enjoying these. I mean, I like the nature and all, but I'm waiting for something to happen, some substance to this movie. I mean. There it is, just like I mentioned earlier, the green and brown anoles, the lizards that are native to Florida, as well as some geckos, monitors, some other big, uh, oh yeah. Big salamander-looking bastards. Those are those two we saw earlier. Those things are beastly. Is that a salamander or something? That's a gecko there. Geckos, yeah. Well, before Geico. Yes, that's right. Long before. It was actually pretty cool uh, growing up in Florida and going to school there. 
uh, we were encouraged in our science classrooms to have reptilian pets and therefore we had actually a monitor lizard as well as an iguana and a gecko uh, all animals that are native to florida and i definitely remember whenever i was in miami uh, the few times i've visited there how surreal it is to be walking down the beach or walking down the street and just see a wild iguana out of nowhere just chilling it's kind of crazy they're huge <coughs> Oh yeah, and I can tell you from experience, you don't have to worry about them biting you, but if they whip you with that tail, it hurts pretty bad. <laughs> what is going on here now? I mean, I think this is a drug operation undercover, and these lizards. Are, are, is this the same grow house from the, that Cheech and Chong movie? Was anybody oh, sober? Was, was anybody sober when they filmed this movie? Or? I'm thinking they might have paid the cast in. How is uh, this? Brown. How is this scary? I'm pretty sure that they paid the cast of this movie in brown party liquor. In fact, Bud Wines. Well, it's officially uh, the first episode of classic film commentaries, but what a dud! I mean, I, I'm not sure how classic this is. It's certainly classic by definition. If you use the same definition as like classic rock. Yes, I am not. I am not meaning classic movies here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm meaning just classic movies. Um, eventually, though, we'll probably do some uh, newer movies too. But without question, take it as you want it. Classic film commentary. And I mean, some of these clearly are going to be more for fun and comedy, kind of like this one. We didn't really know what to expect, but it's kind of turned out that way thus far. As we get the kinky, uh, what is what the hell are they playing? Kinky croquet lesson they got going on here. Yes, I think uh, C Dub could probably attest that this is one of the few things that made me um, shut up. Actually, I've not talked much. Yeah, I mean, uh, if it, if this movie actually had a plot, I could probably. <laughs> I've got nothing along. to. I've got nothing to say on this. Like, I'm just still baffled at what's going on. I have not seen really anything scary. One guy did get killed by the spiders, but... That was kind of cool, and I gotta say the sound effects were pretty cool in those reveals. I like reveals to give credit to the, 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 dead bodies. the shooting of the nature and the music is cool. Yeah, I gotta say that was good, as well as the location that they chose. Uh, yeah, I like how they did shoot it. it is, I it, like it. It does show you how those on-location films are way better than using, like, CGI. All this would be CGI now, it seems like. Oh, yeah. And it's kind of funny because nowadays we could probably shoot a film of similar quality to this using just our mobile phones. Yes. Oh, there goes some acid. Uh-oh. So the iguana does it this time. So yeah, yet has a frog done anything. Okay, so I guess, I'm guessing frogs... Uh-oh, poison. He's going to kill you. What, what is a vial of poison sitting there for anyway? Yeah. Uh, it looks like a terrible chemical reaction. You better get out of there, doofus. Yeah, dude, I like think it's I'll go, time to run. I'm going to go huff this shit. Why not? <laughs> this looks interesting. But but wait a minute. It does not affect the animals. Let's just. Oh, yeah, let me just go huff this in, and this won't kill me or anything because it's not poisonous gases. The and here goes one right on the head. Nope. What the hell? The lizards and whatnot have not even... This guy's wow. They're not even affected. He is. This guy is such an idiot. <laughs> I'd have been running out first thing. But you know, isn't this the, the same guy that was drinking and driving the boat earlier? Yeah, too? so yeah, I think it was. So you know, he is. So there you go, kids. A little PSA from us here at Classic <laughs> Film Commentaries: If you drink and drive a boat. Lizards will kill you with poisonous gases, the more you know. And yeah, he's fucked, I think. I'm still, I'm still every... baffled on why there's poisonous uh, vials in there. Look at the small it... the small little ge geckos are all over his face now. So I'm starting to kind of get from this narrative that the, liz that the lizards and the snakes are like the... 
the lower foot soldiers or putty patrol of this grand hierarchy, and probably the frogs are the... They're controlling um, everything. I, yeah, I'm thinking the frogs are like the generals, the ones handing down the orders. Back to Cleo here. Yeah. Too bad she couldn't predict the future on... Uh, how role. bad this movie was going to be. <laughs> this is the effect this terrible movie would have on our career. Maybe on ours. All right. We got frogs crow. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Watch out, Sam. Those poisonous gases are still in there. <laughs> Better let it air out. Oh, no. It's already aired out. If only he had carried a gun in this movie. Again, no reaction. He's probably just like, oh, hell, he's passed out drunk again. What's that smell? <laughs> Did you poop on yourself? Oh, Miss Cleo. That's terrible acting. Why is that Ms. was a great that was a great direct look at the camera that Sam Elliott gave us. Why is Miss Cleo? Sure <laughs> how? Way to break the fourth wall. I might have to screenshot that look that he gave us there again. Who's dead? Dead, all right, Mr. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's dead, all right. <laughs> this is way high on Sam yeah. Elliott's resume, I'm telling you. Well, folks, it's time to go ahead and crack another one. Yeah, we got about uh, a little over 30 minutes left here. Brutally. <laughs> Brutal hey, 30. This guy here is a little bit ahead of me. Looks like he's had a couple... Wait, or what? no, I think that was the guy that was driving the boat. I'd be glad to do he's with uh, Blondie there, but it looks like he's next to go down. Hey, probably. look, the look, it's uh, Forrest Whitaker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so much for that cake. No, wait a minute, we weren't watching the butler. The frogs are like, what, the, what, we weren't invited to the bar? Oh, they're taking over the cake? I'd be pissed about that. I mean, I would probably still eat it. I don't know, you, it, maybe one of them poisonous ones. Uh, yeah, you might get a little more than you bargained for. <laughs> yeah, let's get these kids. The these hell out kids, of here. They, they haven't done anything in this movie. Where have these kids been? I swear this like is the Texas three... Chainsaw Massacre house. Okay, there's like three dead bodies so far. And these kids are just hanging out. Their mom and dad are just like, oh, whatever. You know, dead bodies, cool. Go ahead and go play. Here, we're back to. Uh, any place we can put them. Back to the butler. So they're just stacking up dead bodies now, huh? And they're like, let's get rid of them. I like how at least 20 or 30 minutes have gone by and this guy hasn't started to stiffen up yet. Okay, so no, they they pick him up and there was no no kind of animals or anything on him. So I don't... Yeah, I guess they had to make sure that they didn't uh, harm those lizards. Uh-oh, I forgot all about her. She's gone. She's pretty a sure she's. I'm pretty sure she's tripping or high on meth or something right now. <laughs> she's hunting butterflies right now. With our butterfly catcher. I actually used one of those to make a bug collection back when I was like in the fourth grade. Yeah, I used to uh, always catch lightning bugs here in Tennessee during the summertime. Actually, they're out right now as I look out my window, but. Uh, they are here too. They, uh, every time I, tr I would try to catch them and collect them, they would always end up croaking on me. Hey, croak, another frog's joke. But um, Quit doing that. No, I'm joking. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I can't resist. Yeah. <laughs> Bud uh, Wiser. Oh, oh, just kidding. Just kidding. Whoa, she whoa. Just, huh. What's she got to be afraid of? She doesn't even know anything's going on yet, does she? Oh, yeah, she knows somebody's been murdered or something. Uh, who's this here idiot? Here we go. Another unwitting victim. Nobody here. with a, any IQ in this movie, that's for sure. Alright, we got a name of this crazy lady who's high on meth, Iris. And he may be high on mushrooms or something, so. I don't know. Oh, cool shot of that butterfly, but. Uh, they do have good nature shots in here, I give them that. But it's like we're watching yeah. National Geographic, like, edited in with a movie. Like, it's sweet. Yeah. I mean, this is almost as interesting as those videos I used to watch. Fun uh, fact. From the 70s in science class. 
Did you know that the uh, many of the 500 Florida frogs and 100 giant South American toads purchased for use in the film actually escaped during the production? Oh, that's great because I'm sure some of those frogs were not native, native to the right. ecosystem. <laughs> they are now. Thereby completely messing up the balance <laughs> of Florida's delicate eco. Great job, guys. Not only did you make a piece of shit film, but you permanently screwed up Florida by possibly introducing an invasive species to the ecosystem. So, good work, guys. <laughs> and also, the Florida Inn that was used by the production crew would not allow the deadly uh, snakes, poisonous spiders, or black scorpions into the hotel. Which, ah, so probably a I smart move. How, I wonder how they did that shot of the snake on the shan uh, chandelier there. <laughs> yeah, that was a gimmick snake, perhaps. They're like, we ain't letting that shit in the hotel. You guys get that shit outside. You're making what Either movie? They're, Frogs? They maybe just filmed it like after dark. They're like, all right, you know what? The hotel people are gone. Yeah, what, mo what movie are you guys making? All right, this lady's pretty much screwed. She's cornered by a multitude of snakes here. She's, She's done. dropped her butterfly net, her only means of defense at this point, I'm certain. This is their Alice in Wonderland shot, by the way. Yes. That's what it reminds me of, right? Yeah. Wow, nice uh, stamina there, lady. Okay, here we go. I have seen camp counselors in Friday the 13th movies put up a better fight than this. And she's fighting uh, against uh, vines and roots and whatnot. Um, I myself have never been in a uh, marsh like this, so... I can tell you one thing, you will almost certainly be devoured by mosquitoes when in the, this, uh, what the hell was that? Wow, There's a great close-up shot. She passes out and she's... Oh no, oh, she falls is... in the swamp, what's gonna get her? I think this is the same swamp we saw earlier when we found the uh -oh. uh oh, leeches. leeches. Uh, those might be turds, maybe some Same ones pooping. they probably use in Stand By Me. It's down uh, here, I, guys. <laughs> I almost feel like I need a leech treatment after watching this movie. Need a little bit of a bloodletting to uh, make myself <laughs> healthy again. Oh, yeah, looky there. We will never be oh, the same. Leeches. Oh, terrible. I hate leeches. Nasty. Haven't had to really deal with any leeches here. I have never had them... Uh, Ever on my body, but it's always been a fear swimming in freshwater lakes. Great special, uh, or not special effects, but sound effects here again. Yeah, I really do like the music and sound effects. This, this would be good stock music to use for like a cool horror flick if you film one of your own. And again, look at these great nature shots, man. I mean, it's like we're watching National Geographic here almost, but... Half of almost half of this film is just B roll. What's funny though is, yeah, you never really see the animals with the people, like hardly. It's like no, they must have shot the other scenes of the animals and just spliced them in. So far, these leeches have. Oh, there we go, snake bite. He's done. Okay, just as we're complaining about leeches being the only real attack, we have a snake bite, but uh. Those effects were pretty quick. She must have freaked out. Oh, she's blue already. <laughs> well, that I think that happens pretty quick. Turned her into here we got an alligator. We got an alligator shot here. Oh, boy. Okay, I can attest to the fact that if you have an alligator walking behind you, you're going to hear it. Um, I have ran across during my time working at a park in Florida. I have ran across alligators, big eight, ten footers. You're definitely going to hear them, and they're going to be more afraid of you than you are of them in most cases. Oh, boy's done, dude. But this guy is doing the wrong thing. You don't go, oh, yep, you're screwed. You went to the wrong movie. He's, you were supposed to be in The Godfather. That's what happens. Okay, so is that a gimmick alligator he's wrestling? <coughs> Let's hope. <laughs> Unless he's right, Tehar, Lord of the this... Jungle. I'm just wondering how much this guy had to negotiate into his contract to wrestle this gator. But <laughs> I did just looks notice like a as real he rolled gator. it over that it, yep, okay, so that is a real alligator that has its mouth taped. As yes. you can see if you pause the shot there. It was taped. 
Yeah, that was a taped up alligator. Ooh, look at that arm. Now that was the best part of the fucking movie right there, man. So he lost? I thought he was winning. <laughs> no. It's an interesting show. Okay, so I'm thinking I did the alligator at that point. Maybe put some chicken in there. It's pretty sweet. All right. I People like aren't that. really freaking out here at the house. They're just having some drinks, enjoying the 4th of July. Old timer, to him it's just another day. <laughs> That's <laughs> Professor Xavier. Just as heartbroken over this tragedy as any of us. Professor X. You don't want anything to interfere with the schedule. Not anything. Your end may begin. I think I'm a bit behind you on my end here. Just slight. What do you mean always? I'm not interested in what you think. Pickett, you've got to help us. We don't know what to do. Well, I know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> you sink the... <laughs> as we have figured out, uh, screen share on Skype is not as easy as you think. No, no. Unfortunately, due to differences in bandwidth between rural Tennessee... And the old and uh, commercials Illinois. on yours and not on mine. Yeah. So that's why we, next time we probably need to do a DVD. Yeah, I think so. What happened to That we... It was in the swamp. Yeah. Been hit by a snake. Uh, Grandpa's just Is chilling. Accident? No accident. Is that another cool no coincidence. Karen and everybody? Uh-oh. This conversation is ended. No, it isn't. Look, I don't know what's going on around here. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yes, yeah, Sam. Face the fact that we're in a hell of a lot of trouble, <laughs> and we're gonna have to get together and fight it. Now we're cooking. Take it, cause you're the only man around here who's saying anything. First of all, we're gonna have to try to find Iris Stewart and Michael. Very much. <laughs> so it is an island. I gotta get back up. Whether we find them or not, I gotta get up here with you, man. All of us now. We'll take the power boat if we have. Where are you at on there? Leave this house empty. Uh, looks like I am coming up on a minute and six sec. Uh, or excuse me, an hour and six minutes. Tell me when it's an hour and six fourteen, so I can catch back up with you here. Miss Cleo wants off the island, and one oh six fourteen coming in three, two, one. Now. Yes, yeah, so we're on 106.15, everybody, if you want to line back up with us. That was nice. Pardon me, folks. <laughs> not bad manners, good movies. You sounded like a frog there, so. <laughs> what are you drinking, bud? Wise? Err. Uh-oh, he's, he's firing him. Bud, er, wise. Bud, wise, bud, er. You remember that commercial? Hell yeah. I love that that guy was drinking a Budweiser too. That's great. Throwback. I think they got a Coca Cola plug in here on on the beginning too. The Coca Cola can was floating in there. I always like watching the plugs that they get in the like Coca Cola and the shit get in here. Like a guy just drinking a soda right there. Oh boy. Okay. So Grandpa Sam actually has... dressed up for this day, though. Did you notice that? Like, yeah. Oh yeah. He pulled the good like clothes Grandpa. out today. <laughs> yeah. Grandpa the... has instructed this this guy, the drunken boater, to take Miss Cleo and the two Forest <laughs> And the two people who have been thus far, I mean, pretty Who's much the we're butler. All the, What's the butler's name? Uh, thankfully, we're getting all the racist, stereotypical roles off the island. Okay, I will be I'm right. I'm going to be right back here. You take it. Hey, take it, C Dub. I gotta take this call. All right. Uh, as we see here, folks, we're about a minute. Yep, a minute. And, or excuse me, an hour and eight minutes into this flick here. Speed boating across the lake. I hope these three folks here who have been put in this terrible, stereotypically racist role 
actually make it out alive and this doofus who was drinking and boating does not um what's okay looks like we're at a dock or something maybe a fueling station Worms, crickets, and live shrimp. Yes, a little bait shop. Uh-oh. Bad times, guys. I hear the deadly sound effects. Yep. As we see all the wildlife here at this old abandoned bait shop. Uh, looks like they're all getting off, and they have their belongings here. These folks, I hope they do make it out. Uh, if there's anybody in this film who has any redeeming qualities whatsoever, it's them. Oh boy. I see a fishing rod, a tackle box. Yep, and these folks definitely can tell something is amiss here. They are getting the hell out of here immediately. There, there they are, they're back on land. I don't know how they're gonna get back to civilization exactly. But, oh boy, there we see a fresh campfire and a radio, some ice cold Budweiser's. Everybody's gone. This is an ominous sign. There we see the... Oh, no, the birds. Here we go with the Alfred Hitchcock similarity. I think this might be it. Oh, man, we got some killer... It looks like blackbirds, crows, ravens. Certainly not vultures. And they are getting the heck out of there. You would think that the birds would eat those frogs. And I gotta assume that they made it out alive back here at the house. Sam Elliott. Oh, wait, there's two blonde head chicks. See? Didn't even know that there were two blonde headed women in this movie. That's how unmemorable these characters really are. Oh, here we go. Sam Elliott's got the high powered rifle. Looks like a good scope on there. I hope he has enough bullets for all these frogs and snakes. Uh oh, Grandpa knows he's out there getting drunk, boozing it up. I guess so. Who knows how? We'll sit myself. Ah, refreshing. All right, somehow she has the binoculars out. I guess trying to look down into the swamp and find out where he is. Of course, he's here at the bait shop, and it looks like... Ooh, whoa, how did you not see that standing there? Wow. These birds are going crazy all over this uh, island. Yeah, I think I'd just go ahead and get the hell out of here. As we see the boat, which was had painted on it, Valhalla... That may be an ominous sign here, perhaps. Now, why is he... Uh-oh, there's some snakes. Why is he swimming toward this other boat? I don't really understand what happened. He didn't have the keys for the boat that was at the dock. And then swims out to this other boat that he sees, but... Oh! He looks like he just got pulled under by some snakes, or maybe a gator? As Blondie here, Blondie number one, is looking on with the binoculars. All right, Clint's back swimming, but it doesn't look good for him. Don't go in that water, Blondie. All right, I'm back. So, welcome back. Uh, we have been introduced to some, a lot more birds here. Uh, there was a definite scene in there that was really rare. The birds, so... Uh, you guys drop a little comment in there if you're still hanging along. Let us know what you thought about the comparison to the birds, but this guy here is dead. He uh, tried to swim to another boat, and I think an alligator got him. Maybe one of those snakes. And it looks like Blondie here jumping down off of the seawall. We are back in the same boat to, as we were before. Gonna attempt to swim out there and save him, but oh boy, big snapping turtle. Oh, Watch no. out for him. It is the attack of nature attacks. This is... Now, if you can't outrun a fucking turtle... <laughs> I guess she's stuck in the mud, maybe? But I've been stuck in the mud in 
Florida. And, I mean, you can walk. I think it's I've got her legs. Really seen... I think it's uh, got her legs. It's got to be the most vicious snapping turtle we've ever seen in our in the history of recorded nature. The thing is going to devour her whole. Now we're down to Sam, Grandpa, uh, one of the blonde chicks, I think, and maybe the other doofus with the Jack Briscoe haircut. But I no no no, they're all dead. That's right. Ugh. Another beer down. Oh boy. We are coming up here, folks. 13 minutes. Oh, make that 14 minutes just past. Oh, you cut out on me. Hour and 13 minutes. Hour and 14 and 10 seconds right now. Boom. I've got to thank c for taking over there for me on that view. No problem. I do want to no go problem. back and see what that was, though, but. Yeah, definitely go back and check it out. I know you have the DVD there. And like I was saying, anybody uh, else watching who this reminded them of Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds, or if it reminded you of a steaming pile of doo-doo, perhaps, <laughs> uh, drop us a comment. I'm thinking Let pretty you know much a steaming thought. pile of dog shit. And, I mean, the best way for this series to go along is for viewer submissions to roll in. So, guys. Yes, we will sit through any kind of terrible movie that you want us to sit through. Or maybe a good movie, uh, if it is a good movie. Yeah, but, I mean, if you really I mean, if you're into these kind of horrible movies, we have no problem watching them. Yeah, without question. So, As I come up to what must be the last ad here. So we'll take any classic um, good movie con um, suggestions as well. So. All right. So there we are at a one hour, 15 minutes, and 10 seconds there. Sam shuffling the children. And... All right. So we got Grandpa, other blondie with the purple pants, Sam Elliott, and the kids. That's it. We're all eating. Rich Grandpa's gonna stay. Rich Grand. Uh, I'm thinking he ain't going anywhere. But don't you understand? I can't let the children stay. No. And I can't let you stay. This is some great acting here. Have you want to disobey me? All right, go ahead. All right, I'm disobeying the fuck out of you, Grandpa. Peace. I'm pretty sure this guy's got a good ten beer buzz going. Did he just call them commies? <laughs> uh, I don't know what to say. Look at the collection of heads he has on his wall. Yeah, this guy's kind of twisted, man. He's been drinking rum all day long. It's the Fourth of July. I'm pretty sure he's hammered. Elevator, huh? That's where I'm going, and I'm gonna sleep like a baby. He's going to bed. Fuck it. I take that shotgun. Take anything you like. All right. Don't bring it back. Don't bring it back. All right. Grandpa is home alone now. Time to call the hookers and have a party. Many happy returns of the day. Many. <laughs> Swig of water for the grandpa. <laughs> One more. Before I go to bed, yep. kids. This will put me to sleep. I'll bust the glass. Right, Sam's got a gun. More hammered than I thought. Sam has a gun. What do you know? Shades of his uh, later it's... career. Let the dried beer number three into me here as we wrap up this flick. I'm definitely going to have to Mercy. get some beer for the next show. I'm thinking uh, Grandpa here is probably just going to be left to his devices here at his house and Sam and the kids and Blondie here are getting the heck out of here watch out watch out for the frogs yeah. kids. tell them to run too make sure they run well as grandpa watches out the window and sees all these critters uh, this is so like reminiscent that, this is so like Alfred Hitchcock this is just really, really strange. For the first time, I mean, other than those folks that uh, tried to escape earlier, or did escape, I hope, <laughs> other than her, um, this is the first common sense moment I've really seen. Now, did I see her death? Yes, I did see her death. She's the one who got Yeah. 
There it is, the big snapper. Yeah, the snapper. I didn't miss any deaths when I left the room. No, no. Sorry, if we, if I get an important call during these, I'm gonna have to take it. So. Hey. It it's happens. real life here, guys. Yeah. Classic going, film. Going live, commentary. and you gotta take care of uh, you gotta take care of business as it comes. I'm happy to pick up the slack in this movie. Uh, I wish this movie would pick up the slack on itself, but at least we're getting some kind of climax here or a big plot twist of some sort. Better watch out for that mud, Sam. If you get stuck in that, that snapping turtle is gonna fuck you up. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, yeah, let's get in the little canoe here. We'll just row, row, row your boat. Well, to say we. Yeah, give, give that kid the gun. Why not? As we can I see, Sam's a pretty good, the, he's a strong rower. Yeah, I think I'd give those kids the ore. I don't suck know, doing three people and four people in the boat. Yeah. Well, it's all right. Sam will do it. So we're pretty much back to where we started the movie, if you think about it. Yeah, he's back in the canoe. Uh, he lost his camera, I'm sure. Got to assume, at least. But thankfully, they're getting the heck. Oh, whoa, Nelly, that's a big one. We hit a snag. Oh, yeah, you're in trouble now. Oh, I'm, I'm going to take my shirt off. Going to use my hairy chest to get us untangled here. All right, so if Sam goes down here, pretty much the whole movie is done for at that point. And there it is. Sam gets bit. Uh-oh, Sam. <laughs> yeah, you know, let's, let's, let's throw the snake in the general direction of those children. Great idea. <laughs> Sam, get him the heck out of there. Here, I'm sure here comes the big climactic moment. No, you guys go on without me. It's bad. <laughs> oh, yeah, get that ore. Bash those snakes. There you go, Sam. What a badass Sam's this guy fucking is. ruthless, man. This guy is Oh, I did read on IMBD that this uh, scene where he took his shirt off actually landed him a later film role. Um, ah, maybe we can look whoa. that maybe we can look what, what kind that of film what, was it? Uh, let's see. Maybe we can pull up IMBD and see real quick. I don't think he has been uh, bitten by anything particularly poisonous here apparently. We'll definitely have to pull the IMBD page right after this and check it out real quick. Throwing away. After this fantastic ending. Alright, so Snake Bite has not taken him down. Oh boy, big alligator. Fuck no, Sam Elliott ain't gonna get taken down by that Snake Bite. I've seen enough episodes of Swamp People to know that that's not what happens whenever you shoot an alligator. No, that, that blood was a little extravagant there. And I do know that there, thanks to Swamp People, there is a spot in a cranium of an alligator roughly the size of a walnut that you have to hit to actually penetrate the alligator's brain and save the hide. Of course, they have the bony exoskeleton on them. It's actually pretty tough to kill one. Old Milwaukee plug right there, did you see? No, Milwaukee's beast. Yes, sir. I had a mini uh, grapple with that beer in my day, as I'm sure Sam Elliott did. All right, so this is the dock where we saw the Miss Cleo and the two uh, housekeepers make their exit not long ago. But, we, of course, we saw those birds that were giving them a hard time. So hopefully we can make it out of there. There's the ominous campfire that was still going. All right, this is as far as we saw Miss Cleo and the housekeepers make it. Oh, no, this doesn't look good. This doesn't look good at all. Yep. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. That's right. Good thinking, Pilgrim. All right. We're running down the road, hopefully back towards civilization. What a happy family. Yeah. No kidding. Oh, I, what the heck's going on with Grandpa, by the way? Did he just go to sleep and 
That's it. I'm or pretty what? sure Grandpa's screwed. All right. Very well, reminiscent at the end of uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Absolutely. Hopefully, there's a big trucker that comes out and tries to beat somebody. <laughs> Hop in. Come on. I bet she's got a snake in the back or a frog. Come on, he says. She is, of course, driving a green vehicle. That could be the big tip here to the final. This this would have climax. been this would have been the great spot to have a man eating frog driving this yes. car. Or a man eating some frog. Now you're making me Sam hungry. Elliott. Sam Elliott just pulls out a plate of frog legs and it's like, oh, <laughs> hell with this. Give me a bud wash. I got rid of the frogs, guys. Yeah. Thanks for stopping. I'll get, I'll, I'll invite, oh. Thanks for stopping. I'll invite you over for some frog legs after this. I think this gal here is getting sweet on old Sam. Do you blame her? Sam is quite the looker here in 1972, <laughs> I gotta say. Handsome fella. Could have been a front runner uh -oh. for uh, Quantum Leap Television. Oh no! That's a monster. There it is. Right. Dun dun dun. Exactly oh, four minutes left, and I've yet to see a frog really do anything except torment people. Here we go. Oh, here, here it goes. You're about to get the big delivery. As he's listening to his patriotic records with his dog with an extraordinarily long tongue as we saw in the beginning of the movie here we go oh frog rapping dog DJ. Frog. now that's the best shot of the movie right there <laughs> uh, uh, I'm wondering how long that took to set up oh get that record going again Gramps nope let's cut it off alright here you go you're going to pay for your stupidity grandpa and you are too, puppy, I'm afraid. These frogs are going to jump in your house and lick you to death. What is going to happen? I think in the background, we're, I don't know if that's supposed to be windows breaking or if that's just special effects music. I think it's special effects. Took but Grandpa is now tripping. He's been drinking cough syrup all day. It's the 4th of July. The, all these mounts and everything, these slayed are now really freaking him out. Hopefully he doesn't go crazy and roll out the window on accident. <laughs> oh, all of a sudden the phone is working. Could it be frogs on the other line? It's Kermit. Kermit the Frog. Hey, this is Kermit the Frog. <laughs> we are controlling you. Hello. Hello. This guy's oh. really very distressed. He's panicking. Uh -oh. He's panicking. They see me <laughs> rolling. <laughs> He's feeling froggy right now. Get your frog puns in now. Yeah, I gotta squeeze them all in here. <laughs> He's feeling froggy. It, it'll be totally excellent <laughs> if I do. This was totally awesome. Oh, man. Mercifully, folks, we're down to the major final scene of this movie. I don't even know if there are end credits to this. You know this who this reminds me? You know who this reminds me of old Frogman LeBlanc? I'm pretty sure you just saw a bass making chicken noises. Could be our wonky audio. What a climactic here, but... ending this is. This guy is really, really feeling it. He has been partying <laughs> hard all day long. What's he, going on here? Is he gonna? He have was a... not ready for this shit. He tries to walk and falls over. Well, how the hell is he gonna try to walk with no? Smart move there, buddy. Yeah. Now he's gonna get his asshole laid out by fucking frogs. Oh, this is just awful. It, 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 the body's not okay. Wait a minute now. It's, it's weird. Looks like two different bodies. That's a big frog. Holy crap! <laughs> they got some monsters, dude. These are probably one of the five hundred. You know, few of the five hundred they got loose. Now, how in the hell did they just cut off the power to the house? And mercifully, folks, credits are rolling. I was a second behind you here, so okay. What a climactic ending that was.
I thank Biscoot, the Holly Bolly Mix, for uploading this YouTube video because this was, uh, I don't know, what do you think? I don't know, but I really, really like this end title here. Porn Biscoot Please. <laughs> Donko Pakadina Mushkil Hai Nahi Namukin Hai. I, I will be posting what that the uh... translates to folks is thank you so much for watching classic film commentaries. Frogs yes. 1972 Jeff the future Jerus man what a fantastic start this is. I'm going to be really looking forward to coming back for another episode of this. Yeah, I'm already looking forward to doing something that we uh, know better right off the bat instead of something that we haven't watched before. But it was fun to do a first episode kind of like, you know, the first watch with other people if they haven't watched it. So uh, it was cool. Other than the interruption I got there at the end, it was great. So All gravy, man. Yeah, I'm going right. to thank everybody for watching as well. Classic film commentaries. Make sure you be on the lookout for, I don't know, we won't be doing them exactly every week, but, you know, if we have the time, we'll do one. Yeah, be on the lookout for more episodes of Classic Film Commentaries. I'm Jeff the Future Jarris. Until next time, that was Frogs 1972. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Peace.